Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next set of exercises to try and understand logarithmic functions a little bit better. So here we're trying to evaluate these expressions. And again, the way you work with logarithms is saying that you take the base raised to this number right here equals 6. So if we put a little box there saying we're looking for an unknown number, and the way to find this number is to go over here. You say, okay, I take the base, I raise it to some unknown number, and I get 6. What should go in that unknown number? And that's pretty plain. You put the number 1, 6 to the first power equals 6, so this becomes 1. Same thing over here. You take this base, raise it to some unknown number, and you get 1 over 100, which means what you need over here is a negative 2 because 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 10 to the 2, which is equal to 1 over 100. So what goes in the box here would be a negative 2 because that's what we decided right here. All right. And finally, again, we need a box here. We're looking for some number so that we take the base, raise to this number, we get 125. So we take the base, raise to this number, we get 125. So that needs to be the number 3. And so this becomes 3. So that's pretty straightforward. We do the same over here. Again, we take the base, raise to this number, we get 2. So we take the base. Raised to the x power, we get 2. That means x must be equal to 1 half because 4 to the 1 half power equals 2. So it's therefore, x equals 1 half. Again, over here, you take the base, raised to that number, you get x. So you take the base, raised to this number, you get x. Therefore, x is equal to 3 cubed, which is 27. x is equal to 27. And finally, you take the base, raised to this number, you get 16. So you take the base, Oop, the base raised to the fourth power, we get 16, therefore x must equal 2, and we can write x is equal to 2. So that's, again, make sure you always say to yourself, when I see a logarithmic function, I take the base, raise to this number, I get this. I take the base, raise to this number, I get this. And we use that technique, logarithmic function become a whole lot easier to understand and to work with. And that's how we do that.